So recently, a bunch of unaired pilots found their way online, dating back to the 90s. What I want to do is, look at these pilots and determine two things. One, did it have potential? And two, how different would popular culture be if this pilot was picked up for series? Today we're opening up the pilot vault and looking at the pilot for a show called Just Married, an unaired pilot from the year 2000 starring Chris Evans and Zachary Levi. It was a multi-cam sitcom about a recently married couple in their late teens and it's not great. Now whoever it is, I suspect it's Marvel or Chris Evans' agents, they've proper tried to bury this pilot. He isn't even credited for it on his IMDb page and you're You'll find basically no talk about it online. And to prove how truly elusive this pilot is, the people over at the Chris Evans forum haven't even heard of it. Look at this comment, suggesting that his credit for this pilot on the Wikipedia was a mistake. First off, I can't believe there's an entire forum dedicated to one actor. I mean, if you're gonna show your love for a Marvel actor, you should obviously go to their app and buy likes. God, that video that Drew and Danny did about the Jeremy Renner app, that was brilliant. But believe me, the people over at the Chris Evans forum are very, very thorough. If they don't know about this pilot, then nobody does. Here is a very passionate message from one of them, talking about a list of credits on Wikipedia. Warning, it does contain one glaring error. It says Chris played young Tom in a film called Cherry Falls in 2000, credited as Chris. Christopher Evans. This, of course, is a mistake. The actor, Christopher Evans, is somebody else. I actually watched Cherry Falls all the way through to check Chris isn't in it. In case I'd made a mistake, I did not. He's not in it. I can't find a picture of the Christopher Evans and Cherry Falls. I will maybe do a screenshot when I've got more time. So as you can see, they're very thorough. <laughs> Now, I hope they don't mind me poking fun a bit at them. I like them for the record. Anyone who's committed to preserving TV and movie history has my respect. We're only having a laugh. Right, let's take a look at this pilot. We start with Chris Evans waking up, complaining at his mother for setting his alarm. He's only like 1920 in this. It was filmed not long before, nor another teen movie. The movie that basically made him popular. From there, he went on to star in the Fantastic Four movies and and then later on as Captain America. The guy from The Finder shakes his bed, trying to get him up. What a show that was, criminally underrated. The late Michael Clark Duncan was spectacular in that show. We meet the female leads, and they have a conversation about nail polish. Hey, at least this show passes the Bechdel test because of this one 20 second scene. Chris Evans then calls his girlfriend, asking her if she wants to do something later. We then get a montage sequence that shows them going about their day and getting married. What is it about Americans and getting married so young. It's pathetic getting married that young. Stupid. This show was apparently created by Jack Birdie, the guy who produced a bunch of stuff. Dag, which we mentioned in the Steve Carell on Earth Pilot. 30 Rock, Last Man Standing, The Mindy Project. The guys produced a lot of decent television. Megan tells her sister that her and Chris Evans got married in secret in Mexico. Then Megan's mum walks in and her sister tells her that the pair got married that night. Megan Megan takes revenge by telling the mum that her sister kissed her cousin. What in the inbred American crap is this show? What are you talking about kissing cousins for? It's not funny. So what is it? Is it just a writer's thinly hidden fetish? Megan and Chris Evans go for a walk in the park and to show us that they're in love he gives her a really awkward piggyback through the park. This just looks uncomfortable. We then meet Zachary Levi making this his second appearance on Pilot Vaults. After the pilot for his show Imperfect Union. Hey look, it's Shazam and Captain America together at last. Or you could even say Captain Marvel and Captain America if you want. This guy playing one of their friends, he, he couldn't act his way out of a paper bag. Look how bad an actor he is. Hey Owen's awesome, he's one of my best friends but there's still a slight chance he might be evil. 
Why is he reading out his lines like that? Is someone slightly off screen holding the words up on a sign for him? And he just has no idea that he has to make it seem natural? He's the worst actor we've ever seen in this series for sure. Like, what is this? Utterly, it's like the first time the band totally came together. Right. Whoa! He must have went to the Keanu Reeves school of acting. I know, I know, we all love Keanu, but he can't act and there's no point just pretending that he can. These two characters constantly try to justify getting married so young, even though it's a pathetic decision that they're not old enough to make. Chris and Megan try to get Zachary Levi to make the managers of the apartment building they own. This is, of course, the writer being desperate to make this show have something to it, other than two kids get married. Unfortunately, it's a really boring storyline, so part of me wishes he never would have bothered. The guy from The Finder announces that he fancies Megan's sister, despite the fact that He's Chris Evans' brother, so it's his sister-in-law. This show loves that kind of relationship, doesn't it? Actually, we never left. We're trying to set the record for the longest continuous game of pinball. That awful actor is back. He's so wooden and terrible. I hate him. I already hate those characters where the whole point of them is it's funny because they're stupid. We saw it in I Shudder with that woman. We saw it in Dead Boss with Helen's sister. And now we've got this moron. The parents of the couple come over and announce that they've booked a church so they can have a proper wedding. We are meant to be on the couple's side here, but... Honestly, I I'm not. The parents are right, they're too young for this. But the least they can do is have a little ceremony for the parents. Not really fair on them, is it? For the record, I think it's ridiculous for anyone to want to get married. What's the point in it? It's a waste of everyone's time and money. But if you're going to do it, at least do something for your parents, come on. They're just being selfish. They cared so little about this pilot that the boom mic can clearly be seen floating above them at one point. Nobody here cared about this show, so it's only fitting that I don't care either. Megan has a bit of a breakdown because her parents are trying to help. At one point she shouts, I'm 19, as though this was meant to be an age where she is responsible in any shape or form. I remember when I was 19 and I was an idiot. I remember when I was 15 thinking I had what it took to take on the world, but by the time I was 19, I was aware of how stupid that was. She's too old to be this dumb. Chris Evans really doesn't have much to do in this. He's not really interested in it at all. And it's not even that he's an inexperienced actor, because like I said earlier, he did not another team movie, not long after, and he was great in that. So it's definitely a fault of the script, it's poorly written, ham-fisted, and most importantly, not funny. Chris goes to comfort Megan after she has a fight with the parent, and for a second, they consider that maybe what they're doing is ridiculous, but then they push aside the obvious and go, no, other people are the problem. Idiots, both of them. Now, Chris Evans is an incredible actor now, but wow is he crap in this. What a waste. I, I hate this shot where it makes him look vaguely cross-eyed because of the weird angle it's at. The couple say that they're gonna be together forever, but they weren't worthy because this was never picked up for a full series. And let's be honest, they probably got a divorce once they grew up and acted like adults for a change. The pair decide that they should get married and Mexico a second time. But why? What does that even mean? Why did they get married twice? I, I don't get it. And we end on some awful dancing from them both. I don't know what it is with sitcoms that go, oh we'll do some funny dancing. Funny dancing is never funny. Plebs was another one that did funny dancing in the title sequence and we were meant to laugh. I think the only dancing I've ever laughed at on screen was in The Office when David Brent did that horrendous dance. No other comedy should bother. Now I think about it, this probably predates that, but still, no excuse. Thank God we never got more of this. Where would they even go with future episodes? And what on earth would the show do if it got like a third season? Would it still be called Just Married? They wouldn't have just gotten married at that point. They'd just be a normal couple. So what do you do? Just keep marrying off couples so the title of the show is relevant. Say the guy from The Finder and Megan's sister get married in season three. So then they can say, oh, these guys just got married. See, the title of the show is good. 
good. Stupid show. Stupid title. So where does this pilot rank among the other unaired pilots that I've looked at? Well, I wish this one would have stayed hidden. I'm gonna stick it in the awful category. Let's see, it's not quite as bad as pink colour, so around there. You know what, as much as I slated Queen Bee, that was better than this. I swear more jokes were made in that pilot than were made in this sorry excuse for a sitcom. So I'm gonna put it between that and World of Trouble. Right, are there any other unaired pilots you want me to look at? If so, let me know in the comments. And subscribe, help us get to 4k, really. There you go. Bye.